Welcome back to the Gobby Gaffer and my grassroots to gold boots say starting with AFC Rochdale. And uh, today's episode, well, it's very simple. We've got our first two games in the league. No more transfers have been done. We're virtually starting the day after I finished the last episode. Let's get stuck in, shall we? And the first game is against the Ebbs Fleet, newly promoted Ebbs Fleet, predicted to finish around about 17th or 18th in the league. So it's a home game. I would expect to win this one, but you never know, do you? Let's get stuck into the game, shall we? So we're going to try tactic number one today. All in the melting pot, this. We don't know whether it's going to work or not. So it's a custom direct counter-attacking. It's a 4-3-3. Balanced mentality. The team is moulded in goal. Back four of Conway, John, Landell and Kewain. Uh, the midfield three are McDermott, Clayton and East. And the two wingers are Sinclair and uh, Uch Gubulam, uh, with the, uh, Rodney playing the striker as a pressing forward today. So it looks like Ebbs Fleet are going to play quite a defensive line-up today. Uh, obviously, we need to uh, get down the sides and try and break them down. So we do get a highlight straight from the kickoff, and it is Ebbs Fleet with the ball. So we do get a first chance here to have a look at to see how these players perform. So we do get a little bit of a chance of an attack here. McDermott, is he going to hit that? He does hit it. I think that hit the crossbar. Obviously, the keeper didn't save that one. It's a very early days. Uh, we're about 12 minutes into the game. Just going to give the lads a little bit of an encouraging shout. And we might actually just up the ante a little bit. We'll go positive, I think. Ebbs Fleet again with the ball coming forward now. And that's a poor pass. Sinclair picks that one up. And uh, he just lays the ball back to Landell. Out onto the, uh, the right uh, fullback roll. Now we're coming down the wing. The ball's on the back of the net and uh, a, a, a nice finish there from Devante Rodney. So the ball came down the right hand side into the box and uh, that's what exactly what we want our wingers to do. So some nice work down that right hand side there from my full back and my winger and Rodney just uh, takes that in his stride and we are winning 1-0. Back with the corner, Ebbs Fleet. Ball into the box, the ball's headed out. Sinclair is chasing it out. Ebbs Fleet now put the ball into the box. And the ball's in the back of the net and it's back to 1 1. And that is not ideal, if I'm honest. That is not ideal. Just have a look what happened here. So ball in the box, pretty, pretty what will mark there. So Domi there was pretty what will mark through that move. Pretty poor, really. So I'm going to give the lads a bit of a shout of demand more, I think. And uh, let's produce one or two smiley faces. Obviously, quite a few new players in this team. Uh, obviously a brand new manager so they've got to get used to uh, I, I have set up a tactic that has a two striker system that's a nice finish from uh, Uchi Gbogulam nice finish there even if I can't say his name nice finish back 2-1 in the lead as I was just about to say um, I have three tactics there one of them is a two striker tactic and I have noticed that you get the, the green linkage and that came on. So it looks possible like we were playing with a two-striker system last season. Um, obviously, it didn't work very well because they got relegated. OK, can we uh, can we defend a little bit better here now? Ebsfleet coming down that exactly same, exact same side that we conceded from. And Molden picks that one up nicely. 32 minutes on the clock and we're just going to build from the back now. But we are 2-1 in the lead. Molden bowls that ball out onto this left-hand side. Conway inside to McDermott. Sinclair now, one of our star players apparently. And he just plays a simple ball inside. 
We very nearly lost that. Robney, Clayton. Is he going to go wide with this or is he going to go through the middle? He's going to have a shot and uh, that was pretty awful if I'm honest. So it's not looking like the fans have turned out in uh, great numbers today. 3,000. So the, uh, the ground is about a third full. But obviously, you know, it's what happens on the pitch that will get bums on seats. So we need to have a good start and uh, get some increasing numbers in, which hopefully will encourage the board to give me a little bit more money to spend. So we're back to the keeper. Landell, ball through to Clayton, doesn't actually reach him. So we've given the ball away there, but uh, to be honest, Ebbsfleet's passing is about, is about as good as ours. Uh, pretty shocking. East with the ball now. East coming forward to Conway. Conway on this left-hand side. We do have men forward for this attack. Can he get the ball in the box? He's not going to do that. He's going to pass it back to East. Quite tentative at the moment, aren't we? We just uh, we just feeling our way into this tactic and into the game. And Rodney there gets his second of the game. But the linesman's flag is up, and that will be shouted as offside. And we come into half time. Uh, seven shots, four on target. There's not a lot between the teams, if I'm honest. Our XG is 1.14. So I'm just going to say, I think we can do. Uh, I think we're doing all right, but we can definitely find another gear. Let's just have a look and see uh, how fitness is going on. So my right winger, although he's having a very good game, he's very, very tired. And unfortunately, I only have one right winger. So we kick off the second half, and uh, to be quite honest, we don't really need any highlights. I have had uh, I have had games that I've played where there's been no highlights in a whole 45 minutes. That would do me nicely, to be quite honest. Sinclair, forward to Rodney. Rodney looks like he knows where the, uh, the white round thing goes. And, um, yep, yeah, it goes between the two white sticks. And he definitely seems to know that. But uh, Rodney has picked up a loose ball, fires that into the back of Well, when I say fire, he just passes it into the back of the net from a really shocking mistake by the Ebbsfleet player. Just watch that one again. So was it Polion? Yeah, Polion there. Misplays pass. Rodney just very calmly picks the ball up and then just rolls it into the back of the net. 3-1 up. Very, very nice indeed. And uh, one thing I'm going to have to get used to, five subs on the bench and we can only use three of those. So I'm going to have to be very sparing my substitutions. Uh, so on the 65 minutes, I've moved Sinclair onto the other wing. He's not having the greatest of games. He's going to play inside forward on that side. And uh, Fai is left-footed. So we'll change him to uh, a winger. So we brought a fight on and Sinclair has moved over to the right. We'll just confirm those changes and uh, get the game underway. 3-1 now. Unless there's any buffoonery goes on, we should be fairly comfortable in this game. East now floats a corner over the far post. That gets headed away. I'm going to have to tweak my uh, set-piece routines, I think. Obviously, we don't have a set-piece coach. Uh, we're not allowed to have one. So, I mean, I suppose at this, uh, you know, at this level, maybe it is deemed to be a little bit uh, fancy. So, uh, our centre-half there just ducks down, lets the ball drop over him. Sinclair now coming in off this right-hand side, fires the ball there, and the keeper parries that away for a corner. So, Sinclair there doing some nice work on this right-hand side, having been switched. Clayton now, is he going to go far post again with this? Yes, he is. Far post again. That's headed out to Conway. Conway now. It's not a highlight, apparently. The highlight was the corner. And there was nothing coming from the corner. So, uh, Ebb's fleet now with a corner of their own. And that is headed into the back of the net. And it's now 3-2. And I did say we would be all right unless some buffoonery came in. That looked like shocking marking there. We seem to have everybody marked up. But Cissé there just gets in front of his man. Heads the ball in the back of the net. And uh, 
We come back and now again Ebsfleet with a throw in. Ball headed out. Nicely picked up by Afai there. We're not busting the gut to get forward though. So I'm not quite sure what he's going to do with this. He's lost the ball. Ball to Conway. Clayton now with a header. Rodney can't get onto that one. And the ball is put out for a North. I thought it was going to go for a throw. A Faye there. There's been some very poor play in this first game. A lot to work on. And some very, very poor defensive play. And generally, Rodney, is that his, is that his hat trick, isn't it? Rodney, has got his hat trick in the first game of the season. We're now winning 4-2. But there are a lot of things to work on. We, do, we don't look a particularly slick outfit. But it's the first game of the season. We'll let that slide for now. But a nice finish from Rodney. Took that ball there and actually fired it into the back of the net. So we are just going to drop to a cautious mentality now. Conway now with the ball. Into Landell. Landell is going to do what with this? He gets into the penalty area. And that is given as a penalty. Don't know who our penalty taker is. Is it going to be Rodney? It's going to be left footed. And it's East to take this penalty to put us 5-2 in the lead. And yes, 5-2 now. This should be um, a comfortable lead now that Ebsfleet should not come back from. 80 minutes, last two changes. Changed both my full-backs now, so Never and Taylor have come on. We come straight back to a free kick, floated in there by Sinclair, who's looking very, very tired. And Landell very, very nearly uh, scores with a header. OK, can we, keep this, uh, can we keep this out of the back of the net, please? Because um, I'm a little bit concerned about the number of goals we're conceding. No, we can't. So it's 5-3 now. I mean, we will win the game, but I'm very concerned about the three goals that we've conceded. I mean, the corner there just... And Solly there just rises above our defenders very, very easily. OK, one or two things to work on there. Uh, we've had 17 shots, 11 on target, XG of 2.74. Possession, we didn't have a lot of possession. Maybe that needs working on. Um, like I say, one or two things to be worked on. So we're just going to say to the lads, uh, nice work everybody, uh, that was very good. And uh, the next game will be an away game at Oxford, who uh, season prediction for, for Oxford is to get relegated. So um, can we get a point out of that game? Maybe three points, I don't know. We'll see you in the dugout. Well, not only have I had my first win and three points on the board, I've actually had my first signing as well. I don't think there'll be many more because we just don't have the money. Let's have a quick look at this new lad, shall we? And he's 26-year-old Miles Kenlock. I have promised him I will play, play him as a, a left wing back. So that's uh, absolutely fine with me. That's exactly where he's going to play. Uh, looks a very, very useful player for this level. Physical's very good. Mental's very good. He can mark. He can tackle. I think he'll do a very good job for us. Finance is now looking pretty dire. We still have a £9,000 transfer budget, which, uh, well, it might buy you the left boot of a player, but it's not really going to do very much else. And we're very, very nearly maxed out on the wage budget. So the next game is an away game at uh, Oxford, and it's a 3,000 capacity. The media prediction now has slipped 24th. So uh, we should be able to get the point, should we? I don't know. Let's get stuck in. OK, the team for today is Molden in goal. Back four of Conway, John, Taylor and Kewain uh, have actually brought a central defender in who's a bit taller. Uh, midfield three, McDermott, Gilmore and Clayton have switched the roles down round a little bit. The two wingers are Afai on the left-hand side, Cheggers, as he's now renamed, on the right-hand side and uh, we've got Rodney up front. Uh, Sinclair is out today with an injury. And uh, this is the second uh, game, obviously the second team we've played, uh, playing this very defensive uh, system. So we are going to have our work cut out to try and, uh, try and break that down. And the first highlight is uh, Kiwain with the throw in on that right hand side, throws the ball into the box and the Faye is the only person in the box, can't get his head on that. 
Conway now floats another ball into the box. Nafai this time does get his head on the ball, but it goes over the bar. So 20 minutes coming up, not a lot of highlights. We've had four shots, but as yet nothing on target. McDermott now, down this left-hand side. We did, at the moment, we don't seem to be getting a lot of bodies in the box, do we? Conway now floats the ball in there. Rodney, oh, and the keeper makes a terrific save. And uh, it's 0-0 at half-time. Um, I'm going to say we simply have to be better in front of goal. And I don't know whether to make a little tactical change at half-time. Um... We don't seem to be getting too many players into the box. I'm just wondering whether we should bring somebody on who can actually play behind the striker. So we're going to make a little change. I've pushed McDermott forward as a shadow striker. And Clayton has moved a little bit further forward. Uh, he's still a ball winning midfield player. I think I might put my wingers more attacking as well. And let's just uh, try and push it forward a little bit. So we've had eight shots, one on target, nine now, one on target. We're not getting too much on target. Like I say, it's very early days with this tactic and this group of players. And that looked like that could have been a penalty. Cheggers there absolutely rifles the ball in the back of the net. And what a reaction that is from Cheggers. Reacted absolutely brilliantly to that ball, just bouncing to him. Let's just have a look at that one again. Cohen here on the right-hand side to Rodney. Into the box. Looks like we could have had a penalty. And that just rebounds off somebody. And Chiggers hits that with an outstretched right leg. Clink now. We're on mixed corners. And that very, very nearly crept in there. But I think the keeper made another terrific save. Chiggers now playing out of his skin down this right-hand side. Already scored a goal, but busting a gut to get to the ball. Is the ball going to come back to him? Gilmore now. Gilmore is going to do what with this? He's going to lose it. But the ball's gone out for a throw-in to us. Throw-in again. So can we do the same thing this time? And uh, the ball is headed away there. Clayton now. Ball inside. That should be in the back of the net. And it is. And it's 2-0 to Rochdale. Afai, oh no, hold on a minute, that's been given as offside, what a shame, 60 minutes on the clock, we are still only 1-0 ahead, which is a, it's a dodgy scoreline isn't it, two substitutions, I brought Mitchell on on the left wing, and uh, Kenlock makes his debut at uh, left wing back, 15 shots now, 3 on target, an XG of 1.46, and Oxford have just had their first shot, so they're actually starting to uh, to come into the game a little bit now. Kenlock now with the throw. Kenlock plays the ball to Mitchell. Mitchell into the box. Cheggers is going to bust a gut to get to this ball again. Had a really good game, Cheggers, down this left-hand side. I'm so glad I changed his name or gave him a nickname. He's been mentioned so many times in this game. Mind you, I probably would have got used to his name by now. OK, John there. Mitchell chips the ball forward and that's a little bit too far ahead of, uh, of Rodney. 83 minutes, last substitution, only the three now, which is <laughs> it's taking some getting used to. Uh, Landell has come on at the back for Taylor. With this small squad that I've got, squad rotation is going to be really important. But of course, the problem I've got is, is that um, with the squad being so small, I don't really have the players to rotate. Nice header out there. Can we pick that ball up? No, we've given it away. This is looking very dangerous. I don't like this. 83 minutes on the clock. And that looks like it's going to be... And we didn't pick the ball up there outside the penalty area. It's 1-1. Not ideal, if I'm honest. Let's just have a quick look at this. We need to have a look at this early doors just to see where we're making the mistakes. And um, Sanderson there just broke away from his marker. Far too easy. Yep, let's, uh, let's go ahead with that. And five minutes of time added on. It's a 1-1 away at Oxford. If I'm honest, a little bit disappointed. Seeing as the media prediction is for Oxford to finish 24th, 
and we can only get a point there. Not ideal, if I'm if I'm honest. Um, and the assistant manager is saying I'm disappointed we should have won that game. So it's early days. There's the league table. Two games played. We're in third place with four points. Kidderminster are the uh, early pace setters. Won both their games. But uh, yeah, yeah, the Oxford City result is uh, smart and a little bit, if I'm honest. But uh, they played two games and got two points. So they've drawn them both. Um, maybe I'm a little hard, harsh. I don't know. So there we go, first two games of the season and it's a four point episode, not too bad. I think if we got a four point episode uh, every time we uh, you know, we were on camera then basically that probably would give us the top half finish that uh, the board wants. Obviously I want to try and do a little bit better than that but I think the squad size and the lack of money is going to be a real hindrance. So I'm going to go away now. I'm going to do a bit more head scratching, see if there's any way that we can maybe bring some more players in, maybe promote some out of the under-21s. It's not the greatest under-21s uh, squad, if I'm honest, but uh, I think we are going to have to bolster numbers. OK, um, thanks for watching. Uh, like I say, I'm going to go away now, play some games off camera, a little bit of head scratching, and... Uh, well, we'll see you very shortly for uh, this new save with Rochdale and uh, the journey begins. Grassroots to gold boots.